24 everyday foods that might be killing you. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, and welcome back to Tall Tannic. By simply opening your pantry, you would be shocked to realize how many items you own that could kill you. It's true, poor preparation could mean that chicken is lethal, but these are foods we consume without putting too much thought into its preparation. Here are some foods you need to be extra cautious of. 24. Can it. Canned tomato sauce is an easy option, especially when preparing your grandmother's famous spaghetti bolognese. Do note, canned potatoes are crammed with sugar, which leads to increased risk of heart disease, obesity, and tooth decay. You'd be far better off making your own tomato sauce, or at the very least, read your labels and choose the tins with less salt and sugar. 23. Chip on the shoulder potatoes. What would life be like without them? Don't start giving your french fries the evil eye, but just make sure you don't make them using green potatoes. Potatoes are not still ripening if they are green, it's the opposite. The greenish tint is chlorophyll, and it indicates very high levels of solanine. Solanine is a nerve toxin that is produced in the green part of the potato, like the stems and leaves, and it's very dangerous. It develops when the potato has been exposed to too much sunlight or very cold temperatures, and eating a green potato can cause headaches, vomiting, and paralysis of the central nervous system. 22. American Pie Rhubarb pie is a very popular dessert in the northeastern U.S., but it's something that must be prepared very carefully. Rhubarb is vegetable, and it's not the colorful stalks that you need to be wary of, but the leaves that are dangerous. The leaves contain oxalates, or oxalic acid, and eating the leaves can make you very sick. It's only lethal if you were to consume 5 kilograms or 11 pounds of leaves, which like we're sure you're not going to do, but best to avoid them altogether. 21. An oily issue. Castor oil is extracted from the castor bean plant, which contains a poison called ricin. Castor oil certainly has its advantages, such as skin care and hair care, but it does come with some disadvantages. The beans can be lethal and can take the life of an adult within eight hours. Luckily, there are stringent regulations in place during the production of castor oil. 20. Life is just a bowl of cherries. Cherries look harmless, and if you stick to their fruit, you'll be fine. The danger is in the pits, and we're not even referring to choking hazards and possible cracked teeth. We're referring to their pits containing cyanogenic compounds, which convert to cyanide when crushed. If you swallow one accidentally, don't panic, you should be fine. But do avoid any broken bits, though. That's where the danger lies. 19. Almond-Eyed Roasted almonds have a bad reputation for not being healthy for you because of the oil used during the process. However, it's such a minuscule amount, you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them. Better to eat them, as raw almonds can be very dangerous. Almonds straight from the plant are packed with cyanide, and it takes a lot of roasting to remove them. If you do come across them in the wild, stay far away from them. 18. Enemy number 1 it's no secret that carbonated drinks and sodas are very bad for your health, yet despite knowing the facts, we continue to drink them. They're full of sugar, food dye, and preservatives, and wreak havoc on your skin, hormones, and mood. Do yourself a favor, invest in a blender or a juicer, and make your own sweet drinks. If you love the bubbles, make your own fruit juice and add a dash of sparkling water. 17. Full of beans Admittedly, you're not eating lima beans every day, but they are a common food and full of protein, fiber, and minerals, and are low in fat and cholesterol. What makes these innocent-looking beans something to worry about? Lima beans contain a toxic protein called phytohemagglutinin, or PHA for short, and eating raw lima beans could make you rather ill. Cooking lima beans for as little as 10 minutes will remove this protein. Heads up, should you have lima beans and little children at home, keep them out of reach. 16. Eat your greens. Leafy greens are good for you, but they can be deadly too. Leafy greens have topped a report of some of the riskiest foods we can consume, and here's why. E. coli, salmonella, and norovirus are all food poisoning staples found in greens, and they're caused by people not washing their greens properly before consuming. So, you're not just washing the greens to remove potential worms and dirt, but you could be saving your own life. 15. Apple of my eye. Apples are a great snack, and eating one a day won't kill you, but eating the seeds may just. Apple seeds contain amygdalin, a compound that produces cyanide in your body. Rest assured, you'll have to eat like 200 of them to be in any real danger. 
14. Sweet Tooth. You know you have one, but that sweet tooth can get you into a lot of trouble, and the sooner you can find other ways to curb your sugar cravings, the better. Sugar is highly addictive, and eating too much of the powdery sweetness could mean an early grave. Sugar sends your glucose levels soaring, creates fat, and leads to heart disease, a bad combination all around. Reducing your sugar intake can reduce your risk of cancer, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and more. 13. Chew carefully. Elderberries are not something you may consume every day, but they are found in items that you're maybe not aware of. For instance, some teas and wines. Thankfully, when cooked, elderberries lose their toxic properties. The poison isn't that strong in the berries, but toxic in the stems and leaves. Steer clear from green or uncooked elderberries, and don't try to make your own elderberry tea from the leaves of a plant. Instead, purchase from a reputable seller. 12. H2O? This may surprise you, but water can be an exceptionally dangerous source of liquid, which is pretty unsettling to hear, but listen. There are a few ways in which water could potentially be harmful. If you are drinking water that is not purified properly daily, it can lead to the following. Vomiting or diarrhea, stomach ache, rashes, or cancer. You could also drink too much water, which can actually kill you. In 2007, Jennifer Strange competed in a Hold Your Wee for a Wee, a contest held by KDNDFM of Sacramento. She died from water intoxication. When you drink too much water, it causes an imbalance in your brain, which leads to hypernatremia or hyponatremia, potentially lethal electrolyte imbalances. 11. Honey Trap you can go ahead and enjoy your honey in your tea or on your toast. Just ensure that you're buying from reputable places, because honey that is unpasteurized or not pasteurized properly can contain grayanotoxin. People who have eaten it have experienced mad honey disease. We're not making it up. This honey has hallucinogenic effects and can be lethal in infants. 10. The world is your oyster. It may not be something you eat all the time, but rather indulge in on the odd occasion. Just always be aware of the risks involved when ordering shellfish. Step number one is to ensure you're not allergic to any form of shellfish, because blowing up like a puffer fish trying to impress your date by slurping down oysters is just not going to go well. Step number two, don't just buy shellfish from anybody. Trust your sources. Shellfish poisoning is terrible and happens when you eat shellfish contaminated with bacteria. This can include crab, shrimp, oysters, clams, and fish. In fact, 7 million Americans are allergic to shellfish. 9. This is nuts. Cashews, like our almonds we mentioned earlier, are also not healthier when they're raw. Real raw cashews are crammed with a chemical called urushiol. Other foods which contain urushiol in small amounts are egg whites, mushrooms, and potatoes. Just a few raw cashews can send you to an early grave. Rest assured the raw cashews you purchase in the store have been treated thoroughly. Never try to grow your own cashews. 8. Salt Attack Salami, ham, bologna all have a rather bad reputation, and for a good reason. Deli meats are crammed with nitrates, sodium, preservatives, and additives, which increase the risk of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and behavioral problems in your children. If you need to buy cold meats, try opting for lean natural turkey or roast beef from your local butcher as opposed to the supermarket. 7. Beans Feast we mentioned lima beans earlier on, which are dangerous enough, but nothing to lose sleep over. Kidney beans, on the other hand, are a different story. They are a key ingredient in chili, so you may think twice next time you're enjoying yours. Kidney beans have very high levels of phytohemagglutinin, and if the beans are not boiled properly before eating, you could suffer with nausea and a stomach ache. People often make the mistake of cooking the beans in a slow cooker, but the temperatures are too low to destroy the toxin, and this could make the beans even more toxic. 6. Do not swallow. The fruit of the apricot is just fine, but don't eat them too quickly because ingesting a stone could be a huge problem. The pits contain amygdalin, which breaks down into cyanide when absorbed in your system. 5. Catch of the day. Tuna is consumed all around the world daily in large quantities, yet the risk of mercury poisoning is very real. Tuna is especially high in mercury, which can have very serious side effects. It can damage your major organs, cause high blood pressure, wreak havoc on your nervous system, and more. Younger children are at a higher risk than adults and should not eat tuna every day. Mercury is not a natural element of tuna and is the direct result of our pollution in our oceans. 4. A bad egg. 
Pregnant women are advised to steer away from eggs unless they're fully cooked, so no sunny side up eggs at all. Even if you're not pregnant, eating an undercooked egg can bring on salmonella. Ensure that when you prepare your eggs, the white is cooked all the way through. Three, spice it up. Nutmeg was once the cause of a couple collapsing and needing hospitalization in 1986. The couple had allegedly prepared pasta and added one third of a 30 gram spice jar of nutmeg to the dish. How they managed to eat the dish still astounds me, but they poisoned themselves in the process. Ingesting over four teaspoons of nutmeg can bring on fevers, chills, blurred vision, paranoia, and death. Two, in the red. Tomatoes are an excellent source of vitamins A and C, but eating too many of them can bring on serious heartburn. They're high in acid, and anyone struggling with gastroesophageal reflux disease will really feel the effects. Their leaves and stems are also full of glycoalkaloid, which can cause gastrointestinal irritation. Fortunately, the chances of you losing your life to this is minimal, but it's just something to remember for the future. One, against the gram. Rice may be crammed with carbs, but that's not the reason why it may potentially kill you. Rice also contains traces of arsenic, a poison that can cause many complications. You could experience diarrhea, vomiting, hair loss, blood in your urine, stomach cramping, and possibly death. In order to experience any of these side effects, though, you'd have to eat a ton of rice. The FDA recommends that you vary your grains, especially if you're eating two to three servings a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos over here and like this video.